I don't think there is anyone in this house who says that the country does not need a new constitution. Although outside this house there have been pronouncements made that all we require is amendments, I don't hear anyone seriously challenging the proposition that the country does need a new constitution. We had the first Republican constitution in 1972 and the second Republican constitution under which we function now, adopted in 1978. Although these two are called Republican constitutions, already speakers on both sides of the House have stated clearly how these two constitutions were made. The governments of that day, <coughs> the United Front government in the 1970s, early 1970s, and thereafter the UNP government that came in in 1977, both had the requisite two-thirds uh, in Parliament, and therefore what they enacted as constitution for the whole country merely mirrored their own versions what for that time being they thought was good not for the country but what they thought was expedient was enacted as the constitutions. Most importantly in both those procedures the Tamil speaking people of this country were left out, particularly the Tamils were left out. If there is a recognition that there live in this country different peoples belonging to different linguistic, cultural, ethnic groupings, those who have different religions, and together <coughs> there is a mix <coughs> of rich diversity that must enhance the character of this country, then certainly the first and the second Republican constitution, uh, constitutions must be done away with. And we must start from that declared status that all are equal in this country, that each group, each people have a stake in this country, and not just as individuals' equality, even as communities, as peoples, they are equal to each other. <coughs>